Welcome back everyone, Mean Pooh here, and today we're going to be doing a RAM upgrade for the Acer Nitro 5 AN517-52T3. Now, you probably have already opened it up, but just in case, I have a video that I've already uh, dismantled the laptop, so go ahead and check that video out, and then once you're done, come back and watch this. The memory I have right here is some crucial 8 gigabytes. It's DDR4-3200. It's a SODAM with 1.2 volts. So this is what we're going to install into the laptop. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and pull the power supply. Power supply is located right here. You may be able to wiggle it out. Set it right there. So therefore, we can eliminate some possible electrical damage to the, to the laptop if we happen to do so, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this memory out. And here it is. Note the slot right here, mostly onto the left side. You have your serial number and the speed of the memory. When we put the memory in, you're going to line up this slot with this notch. And we're going to go in at an angle. So if you notice that when we try to line it up, the notch is off. Let me go ahead and zoom in. See, here we go. See that notch? It's not even lining up at all. So what you're going to have to do is you're gonna flip it over. Okay, it's not gonna hurt anything, just flip it over, and as you can see, it lines up perfectly. So what you do, if you can't get the angle correctly, just lay it straight into the notch and let go. Okay, it's just resting on those two metal pins. Now, gently put some pressure, just slight pressure towards the back and then down and you will see the metal pins come out and then go over the sodium and that's pretty much about it the only thing left to do is attach the power supply and reassemble the machine and like i said before i do have a video of reassembling the machine and you can check that out just do everything in reverse before we reassemble, just make sure that everything looks good. You don't have to touch anything, but just, just make sure it looks like it's in there. You know, it's not like funky. You don't want to have something like this. You don't want to have the memory sticking like that. I mean, that, that's wrong. And then you try to push it down and then you'll break it. You don't want it also hanging like this. That's not going to work. So like I said, take it, set it down in there and then push down. Let me go ahead and show you at an angle. See how I push that up? See how you can see the gold plating right there? See that gold plating? You want that in there, okay? And you want to take two fingers, push down gently. All right. So everything looks like it's seated and we're ready to boot up. As you can see, the fins are in the notches and the notch is firmly seated into the slot of the sodium. All right. There is an overhead view. Now let's go ahead and plug the power supply back. I'm trying to do this with one hand, and it looks like I succeeded. That's right. I did it. One hand. All right. So next time I see you, we'll be in the BIOS. Now we're in the BIOS, and to confirm that you actually installed the memory correctly, just 
go in look for total memory go off to the right side and you'll see 16,384 megabytes so there you go it's all installed correctly this is the first RAM module the SK Hynix it's DDR4 3200 PC4 2500 and its clock speed is around 1600 and let's click the second one and it's the same specs just to make sure now when I order this it said it was Hynix memory and of course it has the name Micron which is a reputable brand of memory so don't let that throw you off and everything looks fine I'm pretty sure you could do some tests on it to make sure everything is running right make sure the memory doesn't have any errors but if your memory is acting kind of funny you will see screen freezes blue screens crashes restarts any number of things so just try to keep an eye on that next let's go play some games which i'm only going to play one which is the assassin's creed i'm just going to run some benchmarks just to see if it actually improved on some of the stuttering that i was seeing when i was doing the previous benchmarks before they install okay hold on Is a trend of life. You owe your very lives to His Highness, Ptolemy, the benefactor. <laughs> I didn't know I had to make a move without being questioned, threatened, taxed, or beaten. We all have learned to obey and keep our heads down. <laughs> the soldiers have become more brutal since he arrived.
your farms, your goods, your children. You owe your very life. Villages are drained of life. No one in the Wahad could make a move. Met Junibu. Is he here? Work with me. Slow down the pursuit. How to get to the others? Well, that's going to do it for this video, and I hope you found it helpful. If you would like to support the channel, please buy from the links below. And until next time, Mean Poop out.